people don't realize the impact they have and just what a kind word can do for someone. Yeah. That person could be waiting to hang on to that, that kindness that you gave them and it could lift them up to do things you'll never know. I mean, if, 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 if we all look back and see who, who gave us that, that kept us going when we were thinking about maybe it's over, you know, maybe. Who was it? Who was, who was the Well, my wife was one when I, when I got out here, she, 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 she saw you at your lows too. Well, she saw me when I was a broke dick dude and, and she literally (laughs) got on stage with me when I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And, and I fucking had a, you know, I, I was awful. What do you mean on stage? I got on stage and did a scene with her in front of a bunch of people on a showcase at Al's bar and I sucked. You you don't forget that. Oh, you fuck remember I, this like I, I could all, tell. I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. And I swore to myself at that time, I went like, that will never happen again. So you almost thought like I'm going to quit acting? No, 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 no. I went, boy, you didn't know what you're getting into. You didn't really realize how much, you know. You weren't prepared? You, you, weren't, you were not prepared. You don't know how to prepare. You don't even know what the fuck you're doing. You can't just fucking wing it. Wow. You fucking idiot. So you were just going on natural talent. You go, I could just do this based on like, you know. Yeah. I, and I had I'm to just sw- good enough. I, I don't even know if I was saying I was good enough. I was going like, I'm just going to fucking keep going until somebody says you can't do this anymore. <laughs> really? You know what I mean? Yeah. Was, was Cameron one of those guys when you're doing T2? Was he one of the guys who was like, hey, great job. Really great job. I love that. Like, was he was. The, he was always that guy. He was. Yes. Yes. He was. Yeah. And, 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 you know, I don't want to gloss over the fact that uh, I really owe him a, I owed him my career. I mean, you know, James Cameron is really the guy that uh, saw all that bundle of insecurity and, you know, and all that stuff that I had going on and said, you can fucking do this. Really? And he did say that, you know, when I, I read the script and I came into him it's a long, I'm not going to, we don't have enough time to get into the whole fucking T2 thing. And there's tons of times I've talked about it. But, you know, after I read the script, which took like five fucking hours, I walked in and I put the <laughs> thing down and then I, I can do this. Then he, that's why you're here, Robert. That's what he said. That's why you're here. Yeah. And that, pretty, that it was, was pretty it. amazing. And that was it. And I got the role. And that changed your life. Oh, yeah. Gave me my career. That one role. Gave me my career. Because you were broke. I, I had nothing. The money I'd made on Die Hard 2, I bought a barber and engagement ring. I was still living at the Hollywood wow. Tower, Tower at Franklin and Argyle. Are you serious? Yeah. Is that haunted, that place? No. <laughs> I thought it was it's haunted. It's haunted with <laughs> your me, ghosts. My ghosts. Your ghosts. 